The Yato Sabes Monologue Slam hosted by Nosotros is doing their annual Latinx open casting call. And I have linked so many things in the description because to be honest, I had never really looked into this monologue slam. This is our fourth annual slam. And in the past, I saw the $30 fee to enter the monologue slam. And I was like, you know what? Not for me. But before you click away, because I also was not very interested before because I didn't know what it was all about. I just thought, oh, $30, that's a lot. I already spent so much money on Actors Access and casting networks and all of those casting websites that we have as actors. This year, I looked into Nosotros and I don't work for them. I don't know anybody personally that works for them, but I read what they're all about. And it's been around for something like 52 years and it started by an actor who wanted to change and have some representation of Latinx actors in Hollywood and they are always evolving. It seems like they're always doing different things, but they host master classes, they have mixers, and in general, they just want to be able to showcase Latinx creatives. They do really seem like a cool organization and I'm seeing this $30 fee less of a monologue fee and more of a contribution to an organization. So I really encourage you to look into them. For this Yetu Sabes Monologue Slam, what they do is they get a bunch of actors and a bunch of writers and then they have a monologue slam and select some winners. For the writer side, they did already do their open call for the writers a little bit earlier this year and now they're looking for the actors to perform those monologues even though some of the writers in years past have also performed their monologues and they do usually host this event in LA there's not any information about getting to LA for this but I'm assuming hopefully they'll help you get to LA if you're not already here this is a great place to showcase your talents because of course people are going to know that you won this or that you were semi-finalist there are two winners if you're an actor for this monologue slam the first one is the main winner and they're going to get $2,500 cash prize they're going to have a general meeting with executives they don't really elaborate too much on that but it says Netflix and NBC be featured on their social media and different articles as well as be featured on a digital talent package that they're going to distribute to networks not really specific but it's great that you will be in the eyes of somebody who might be able to hire you for projects and you're also going to get the final draft software, which is a screenwriting software. And then the audience choice winner is going to get $1,000. I'll be featured on a digital talent package and get that software as well. This seems to have a decent amount of attention on it. So I think it's a great place to be featured and for somebody for example, like Carla Hul to see your acting, like be able to get in front of different casting directors or different showrunners, executives, whatever, just so they know who you are and know your talents. To enter, you do have to be Latinx over the age of 18, speak English and maybe some Spanish if it's the monologue you decide to choose. And you're going to be performing two monologues but specifically selected from the scripts that they give you. So it looks like it's the monologues from the writers and choose to and perform those to within five minutes because you're going to do your slate, you're going to perform the two monologues and then you're going to put them in one file and submit them through Film Freeway. If you're an actor, you might be like, what is that? Because I honestly don't use it like ever. I know of it because I know that's where we submit a lot of our short films that we make. You will have to create a Film Freeway account and then you'll upload your monologues there. The deadline to submit as an actor is August 26th and I did look at their Film Freeway and it was a little bit confusing because I think some of the dates were incorrect because it said 2020 but regardless on their website it did say August 26, 2022 and then they're going to announce which actors are the finalists on September 28th 2022 and will be performing or filming on December 12th 2022. They do have a bunch of the monologues that have participated and won in the past so if you want to check those out they're on their YouTube channel and on their Instagram so you can get an idea of what the monologues are like and you can get an idea of what they choose as finalists and winners. If you're not able to submit this year don't feel bad I mean those monologues are public and they're there if you want to download them and perform them at home just for fun like you can still play around with them but if you do submit let me know because it would be really cool to keep track and see if anybody of us here end up making it to the finalists and speaking of Latinx creatives I know a really cool guy who who is a writer, director, filmmaker in general, and I'm currently working with him on a short film called Pizza Monsters, so you can go check out his channel, uh, Bless Stress.